Muy buenas. Eh, soy Lance y estoy aquí otra vez en la parábola de Stanley. Y nada, voy a intentar esta vez hacerlo de por otros caminos, a ver qué pasa. ¿En qué cambia esto? When Stanley came to a set of two open no. doors, he ver, entered the derecha. door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge claro first, sí. just to claro admire que sí. it. Claro que sí. Ah, yes, truly a room Hombre. worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after claro all, sí. just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Sí, esto todo muy bonito. Uh, qué bonito. Adiós. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Esta. No quiero. ¿Qué pasa si vengo por aquí? Hola. Stanley was so bad at following directions, <laughs> it's incredible he wasn't fired years ah, sí. ago. Ah, es que soy muy bueno. Es mi trabajo. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please. Tú bájame de esta plataforma y después me echas la bronca, que no me fío. ¿Qué quién se llama? Eh, 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 eh. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself, to put your work aside, to let her back into your life. ¿De quién me estás hablando? She's been waiting. ¿Quién? Santa Claus. Es Santa Claus, ¿a que sí? A ver, yo Santa Claus. Oh, lo, lo. Una puerta. Venga. Ostras, that's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this, to reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. ¿Y puedo hacer? ¿Puedo hacer otra cosa? Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. <laughs> gotcha. Hostia, tú. Oh, come on. ¿Qué es esto? Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. ¿Y si no quiero? No quiero. Sorry, but you're in my story oh, now. Qué cabrón. <laughs> Hola. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Uh -uh. What the fuck? ¿Y si pulso otra cosa? No puedo. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. No quiero. Que no quiero. No puedo ir a otro sitio. Joder. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's Mentira. told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. Maldito manipulador. No. But in his mind, ah, in his mind he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown, fantastic discoveries of new lands. 
It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. So he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. As he wandered through this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it este the Stanley muy serio. Muy serio. It was such a muy wonderful serio. fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again. And again. Over and over. Wishing beyond hope that it would never end. That he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Odious. But there is no answer. <laughs> How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he changed. The more he spends here, the more invested he gets, the more he forgets which life is the real one. And I'm trying to tell him this, that in this world he mm. can never be anything but an observer. That as long mm. as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch un poco this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Vale, no le presionado. No tengo que presionar, si no, no hace nada esto. Eso no vale. You see? Hola. Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, sí, he's electing claro to sí. kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? No quiero presionar, hey. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried Por again. Favor, muera. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried... No pulsa ningún botón. <risa> Por favor, ¿es usted capaz de hacernos el favor de morirse? ¡Gracias! No he pulsado nada y me he muerto. ¡No! ¡No! Pues nada. Ay, otra vez en el principio. Nada, lo voy a dejar aquí. Y para el próximo capítulo intento otra manera diferente. Bueno, espero que os haya gustado y nos vemos en el siguiente. Adiós.